Tonight was homecoming in Conway. The Shantz live rooster mascot on display with Coastal hosting the Gardner Webb Bulldogs. Coastal draws first blood. Kicker Grant Clayton nails a 42 yard field goal. Three to nothing CCU on top in the first quarter and later. Coastal is backed up at their own goal line. Aaron Jones picks a bad time to fumble. Gardner Webb has it, but the Bulldogs can't score a touchdown. That's because Andre Jacobs comes up big with a stop there, forces Gardner Webb to kick a Trevor Austin field goal, and this would tie the game at three. Austin later booted another field goal to make it 6-3 Webb, but CCU answers with a double pass. Aramis Hillary to white out Matt Hazel to Akeem Wesley, just like that. It's 10-6 Coastal into halftime. The second half was a wild one. Gardner Webb's punt is blocked by Ladarius Hawthorne. But get this, the Bulldogs get it and pick up the football and run for a first down. Gardner Webb on a wild play would score later in the drive. Ricky Rhodes with a jump pass to James Dugas puts the Webb in front 20 to 10. Later, Travis Small out of Shiraw cuts the Bulldogs lead to three with a two yard touchdown run. Small carried the ball 12 times for 41 yards of the night to lead the shots ground attack. Gardner Webb was leading 23 17 with under two minutes to play. Trey Henderson electrifies the sellout crowd with this 86 yard kickoff return for the go ahead touchdown. Coastal takes a 24 to 23 lead, but Coastal is called for a series of personal fouls, including excessive celebration. Gardner Webb gets the ball deep in Coastal territory, and there's the game winner with time expiring. Trevor Austin with a 31 yard field goal. Gardner Webb upsets Coastal 26 to 24 in Conway. First win over CCU since 2003. Here's sports director Rich Crampanis with a game wrap up. Thanks a lot, Mark. Coastal Carolina has nobody to blame but themselves for this 26 24 loss to Gardner Webb. After Trey Henderson took it to the house, the crowd was going crazy, but three consecutive 15 yard penalties, one for celebration, and then two on the ensuing kickoff return, put Gardner Webb in prime position to break an eight game losing streak. It tears your heart out when you have a great return like that. When Trey's running that ball, I just said, get it on down to where we got position to score. Heck, he took the darn thing all the way in. Kickoff return team did an outstanding job. And then we lost our head, lost our poise, lost our discipline. We got kids running from the bench out there like the ball game's over. Can't do that if we're going to be great. Over there still celebrating my teammates, you know, trying to focus on trying to get back on the field to play defense. Um, I looked up when we was kicking, you know, from the 20-yard line, and I realized that, you know, they had 15-yard penalty, so I know that didn't help. And then the return was kind of good. Then I seen the personal foul, so I just knew, you know, that wasn't going to help us. And they're going to try to run the clock out, try to kick a field goal, and that's what happened. Shana Clears dropped to 4-3 and three on the season. We'll have much more on this game on the David Bennett Show Sunday at noon right here on News Channel 15. In Conway with the Shana Clears, I'm Bruce Crampanis, News Channel 15 Sports.